today I am going to show you two basic techniques on how to make a rose. And here are the materials that you need. Let me show you the first technique. Slice a very small amount of clay and wrap it around the tip of the jewelry wire to form a bud. Take another small amount of clay and roll it to snake. Using your rolling pin, flatten the snake. Use your ball stylus to create frills on one side of the flattened clay. And then, wrap the flattened clay around the bud with frills up and facing inward. Remove excess if necessary and then pinch the bottom of the clay to secure. Roll several small clay balls and flatten them. Here I am using a silicone mold putty to flatten the clay balls and make the individual petal. Mold putty is really not necessary if you don't have one. You can also use the palm of your hand to flatten the clay balls. Make several petals. The more petals, the more blossom your rose would be. And then individually attach the petals to the bud. This part takes a lot of time and practice, so just be patient and you will eventually uh, get through it. After attaching the petals, separate the petals outwardly and then set it aside. And here is the second technique. So I am using a red clay here, so like in the first technique, wrap the end of the wire with the clay to make a bud. For the petals, we will simply roll a snake and flatten and use the stylus ball to make the frills, just like what we did in the first technique. And we will use this kind of petal for the whole flower. Wrap the petal around the bud with frills facing up and inward. And then, don't forget to pinch the bottom part so that it will stick to the uh, bud and it will be secured. Continue making the petals until you are satisfied with how the rose looks like. In this project, I used just 3 petals which are around 20 mm long. After wrapping the petals, don't forget to pinch the bottom so that it will stick to the wire. Then, separate the petals to open the flower and after that, set it aside. For the septal, you just need to roll the clay into a snake, focusing to make a pointy end. And then, slice the middle and then flatten the sliced septal. Attach them to the rows and again pinch the bottom. To make the leaves, roll a ball and flatten them. Slice the flattened ball into pizza and then separate the slices and sculpt and shape it to a leaf.
Attach the leaf to the stem and add liquid clay or a small clay at the back so that it will be more stable. And then bake and let it cool. After baking, paint the stem with green paint. If you are using a light colored clay, you can additionally paint the edges of the petals with a much darker color. Here I am uh, painting it with a darker pink so it will um, show the petals more. And here is how the project looks like. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you find the technique that works best for your project. Thank you so much and don't forget to subscribe and get notified for new videos. Bye bye and have a great day.